feats. They're the second highest placed of the eight Midland sides after thrashing Coventry 5-1 at Highfield Road in midweek. They're amazingly inconsistent. They completed the double over league champions Aston Villa, but Villa murdered them 6-0 in the cup. They were hammered 4-1 at home by Ipswich and promptly won the away game 3-1. Well, we'll hear from manager Jimmy Cyril in a moment, but first a reminder of the delights and horrors this season of Notts County. Tank, tank, tank. Nicely turned by McCulloch to Mayer, return from Hooks to McCulloch, and then McCulloch coming again in for Mayer, drives one, it's a terrific goal. Good ball, Langer. Oh, a disaster by a brother there, Chad Evans makes it 2-1, and that's all down to the goalkeeper. The county still regularly proving that they can do it at the very top level, but why are they so inconsistent? Here's manager Jimmy Cyril. Yeah, well, this is football. It's inconsistent. You know, so Southampton lose seven goals in the week cup to the top of the league last week. The way to win a championship is to have doubles over teams and take two points off the others. You know, the ones that you don't take the doubles off of. Yeah, it's a little bit inconsistent, particularly if you look at our last four away games. We've scored 10 goals over, you know, and, and one game we never scored any, which is very good if you can say, and we were playing the top teams away from home. So you're still not too impressed with the critics who said you were searched to go back down again? Oh, I'm not prepared to discuss the experts. These people are experts. But when you, when you ask, where do you work? You know, they, what do they sweep up in factories, don't they? Or the, the reporters of some sort, or the media, the news media, who try and get facts together, but they, at the end of the day, this game's a bit, you can't even win the derby without a horse, can you? No more they can win football matches without footballers. And at the end of the day, it comes down, it's no words, it's footballers. It does help Jimmy Greaves to have them, of course, but uh, you've always been on county side in these arguments, but why are they so erratic? Uh, it's difficult to define, and I don't think Jim knows because he, he hasn't said anything there except talk about the derby. But I do know one thing. I know that Jim would have settled for this position at this time of the year before the season started. Now, whether it's attitude of mind, whether it's confidence, uh, who knows? He's obviously trying to put it right. Now, they've got good players, Gary. Good, good example here, actually, with, well, a, with a you, super goal. Oh, you've got some tremendous stuff coming up. Um, I mean, this, this goal is, is what I said. We, we, practice this for years in the game one touch football and you can never get it right and here they've got it right against uh, Ipswich uh, who are you know no mean team and it just ends up perfect for them and I mean it absolutely wonderful goal and must be in line already for the goal of the season and but, but why does it go wrong it? now Jim? Well I don't know there you see I mean here you can see uh, Villa on the attack it's a good build up good move Tony Morley's done very well cutting inside there does everything right comes in hammers one keeper parries it and I think the lad panics he panics and it's Pedro he may as well let it in his own back of in his own net and got the credit for it really he, he just flapped a bit at the wrong time, you know. But, uh, you know, what can you say about them? They've got good players. McCullough, Kilkline, Richards, uh, Hooksy, they're, they're good. All right, but they're a little bit erratic.